And to WMER 2 News at 6, I'm Kelly Swoop. Jamie has the evening off. Baltimore's latest deadly shooting, leaving a 31-year-old man dead and another injured. That is under investigation tonight. There were some serious safety concerns brewing since it happened at a South Baltimore gas station last night. WMER 2 News' Kendall Green returned to the crime scene, still covered in crime tape a day later. The Royal Farms gas station on West Patapsco Avenue is usually bustling with steady business. But Friday morning, the store's front doors remained locked and blocked with a crime scene tape after a deadly shooting Thursday night. Police say it left a 31-year-old man dead and a 24-year-old seriously injured as investigators combed through the remnants of gunfire Thursday evening around 6. It's become a hangout, you know, a, a regular hangout now. You know, you got to be careful going in there. Frequent customers like Craig Hart say he's had some serious safety concerns with the gas station after sunset, which for him eliminates the shooting's shock value. It's happening. It's happening. You know, the Royal Farms, the 7-Eleven, you know, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not a shock. I love my city, you know, but it's, things are getting out of hand. For Lawrence McConkey, who runs a towing company in the area, he says he's always had to keep his head on the swivel there. It's horrible. I mean, that's I'm up here every single day, all day long, taking cars out of here, and you know, what I mean, I worry, I worry what 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 day am I not going to make it home because somebody wanted to pull a gun out on me over a car. When I rode past it, I saw all the police out here, and I realized that it, it was a shootout. A shootout. Angel Sela had just cautioned them to avoid seeing them as if they were her own sons. I counsel with these young people and I say, get off these streets. I literally in tears. Tell them get off the street because y'all remind me of my own son. I don't want to see a bullet in your back. I just told them that before this happened the night, the night before. Baltimore police are still investigating what led to the shooting as residents remain concerned still with where it happened. It's supposed to be a place, you know, you can go and get something to eat or snack and stuff like that, man, you know, but um you know, I just pray, you know, again, you know, that family uh, of those victims, you know, uh, you know, uh, just come around. In Baltimore, Kendall Green, WMER2 News.